thanks for joining us today at Literary Liaisons. I'm Mindy Halleck, your hostess, and today I'm really excited to introduce to you Gloria Kempton. Uh, Gloria is a very popular author of Dialogue, which is a Writer's Digest book. It was put out uh, several years ago, actually. Very popular book. If you have any questions about writing dialogue, I strongly suggest picking a copy of that up. Gloria has written nine other nonfiction books and two novels. She currently teaches at Writer's Digest School and Writers on the Net. I'll have all that information at the end of the interview if you're interested in connecting with her. Currently, though, her passion is based on something she's been doing for many years, and that is being a writing instructor and writing coach behind prison bars. So she's working with prisoners and out of that uh, volunteer work that she is doing, her passion became working with those prisoners and she wrote this book titled The Outlaw's Journey, A Mythological Approach to Storytelling for Writers Behind Bars. Although since I've read it and I've worked my way through it, I contend it's not just for writers behind bars, it's for all of us. Anyway, this is a really intimate guide and it's built on the works of Joseph Campbell and Chris Vogler. Chris Vogler, by the way, did a wonderful uh, four and a half, five page um, forward for Gloria's book. I'd like to read you a couple of excerpts from that. Your mentor and guide for this adventure in storytelling and self-discovery, Gloria Kempton, has adopted the hero's journey ideas into a step-by-step, easy-to-follow set of lessons that will give you everything you need to tell the story that's waiting inside you. Gloria has made an original contribution to the growing field of hero's journey studies by drawing attention to another archetype, the outlaw. And then finally, from Chris Vogler, Gloria is a good and trustworthy guide to the new country you're about to explore. Trust her guidance and the writing instincts in your gut. In the writer's journey, I conclude with a chapter where I talk about a moment in my life where I'd screwed up everything royally, and on my own hero's journey, had to come almost to the point of death before I realized the important lesson, which is, trust the path. That means trust your own instincts and trust the process of writing, which is something much older than you. You are walking on ancient trail, the path of the storyteller. By choosing to tell your story, you're part of something, the long parade of storytellers through the ages. You'll have doubts and setbacks, that's part of the journey. But in the end, you'll look back on your writing journey with satisfaction. Trust the story within you, the story knows the way. Good luck and enjoy the adventure, Chris Vogler, author, of the writer's journey. If you haven't read The Writer's Journey by Chris Vogler, you've got to get a copy of that and work your way through it. It'll, it'll change your writing life. And in addition to that, a copy of this, it's just an extension of that and it takes you deeper into that same process. I can't, I just can't rave enough about Gloria's book, The, the Outlaw's Journey. So we're going to chat about that a little bit today. I want to welcome you again. It's very cold here in Seattle, but I know the rest of the country has ice and snowstorms, so it can't be too too chilly here for us, so we can't complain. But I would like to welcome Gloria, and I'd like to know, Gloria, how would you describe The Outlaw's Journey to someone who hasn't read it yet? The Outlaw's Journey is a mythological storytelling system for anyone who's looking to develop their their shadow characters in their their antagonists in their stories. It's it's full of exercises and lectures and help tips on how to develop how to develop the bad guy. Um, it's a it's based on Joseph Campbell's The Hero's Journey, so it takes you through twelve stages of the journey and and also talks about the different archetypes in the hero's journey. But it's mostly focused on developing the the shadow character. How did you become interested in writing this book? I've been volunteering in a men's prison for almost 20 years and and I, I've learned that the outlaw archetype is one that actually isn't talked about too much about in the hero's journey and I wanted to develop the outlaw as an archetype in the hero's journey because it's an out, it's an archetype that appears so in so many people especially in the men in prison and it's definitely something that we can better understand in order to develop characters that are multidimensional, that are the antagonists in our stories. So, so the outlaw archetype is one who can who breaks rules, who doesn't pay attention to conventions, but they don't necessarily have to be evil people. They just don't. Nelson Mandela was an outlaw. 
Nice. Okay. So how do you think your book, uh, The Outlaw's Journey, would help writers today? I think The Outlaw's Journey can help them, I think they can, it can help them get ahead of the game compared to writers who don't understand the outlaw archetype or who don't have tools to help them get to the psyche of the outlaw archetype. Because the outlaw archetype is about motivation. It's about what drives that archetype at the deepest level. And most of the time, as a writing coach, the manuscripts I see, the antagonists are shallow, one-dimensional serial killers who go around cutting people up. There's a lot more to the outlaw archetype than that. As a matter of fact, that's really not at all who the outlaw archetype is. That's something weird. But the outlaw archetype is much more, much more profound than that. And I think anybody who would pick this book up could use it to uh, use it as a tool to do that. So Chris Vogler wrote your foreword, and it was a long, very complimentary foreword. How did that make you feel? <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> because I've always, I've always loved Chris Vogler because he brought. He introduced us to Joseph Campbell and the heroes, the amazing hero's journey, and I, he is a gift to writers everywhere. And here's a big plug for Chris Vogler and the writer's journey, because there would be no outlaw's journey without the writer's journey, that's for sure. So as a writing instructor, what mistakes do you see writers most frequently make and how best can they address them? The mistakes that I see writers make, well, and... Uh, Donald Moss would agree with this in his book, The Blockbuster Novel. He, he, he uh, talks about the fact there's just not enough tension in stories. They, there needs to be tension on every single page and every single scene. Writers don't really fully get this. And, and the, outlaw, the outlaw, the shadow character, needs to be busy every minute. He needs to be behind the scenes doing something to antagonize and harass the protagonist. The protagonist, as the hero of the story, needs to have something to push against all the time so that he can have his, exercise his courage and, you know, come forth slaying all the dragons that you give him in the story. So thank you again for joining us here at Literary Liaisons. I have a lot of other interviews coming up. Uh, next week I'm going to be interviewing Jack Remick and Robert Ray, uh, who started a Luisa's Cafe writing group about 28 years ago. And they are certainly legends in the Seattle area and I think probably beyond. So I'm looking forward to that interview. And I have several others lined up for this spring. So again, thanks for joining us.